tonight, St. Patrick's Cathedral holding its midnight Christmas mass. Broadcasting the service is a decade long tradition right here at PIX 11. We're honored to do so. And tonight is our 44th year airing midnight mass. And joining us live this morning is the man who's presiding over that mass, Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Merry Christmas Eve to you, Cardinal. Good to see you. A blessed Christmas to you and our loyal view viewers, Dan. And thanks again to uh, PIX 11 for your, my Lord, you've been so consistent and generous in, uh, in uh, televising the mass. It. And I, I know literally millions of people across the country count on it, so yeah. thank you. Yeah, we love it because we broadcast it both here on air and online. You know, as we talk about Midnight Mass, Cardinal, let's first address what we're seeing once again play out. This darn thing won't go away. The surge in COVID cases right now. Will that at all impact things tonight? Are you going to limit capacity? No, we don't intend to. We've let our people know that we trust their judgment. Obviously, if they're fragile, if they're of advanced age, if they have some compromised situation, if they themselves have any flu-like symptoms, please, please, please stay away. But we're ready to welcome a crowd. We do it securely. We did it very well during the lockdown. Yeah. Our priests, our people know what to do. We had no indications during the height of it that uh, that attendance at church caused any uh, any uh, problems in it. So we do it well, we do it safe, we do it secure, and we're, we're, uh, we're eager to uh, say to our people, come home for Christmas. Right. There's no place like home for the holidays, and church is our home. And how many people are you expecting? It's a ticketed event, right? So how many are you actually expecting? It's a ticketed event, which, I mean, we uh, obviously the tickets are free. We right. only do that for safety. And we only do that for what the cathedral can accommodate, which is 2,500 people. We usually, I should whisper this so it doesn't get around, usually once the procession goes in, we open up the doors and let the people wait outside. So, but we do it safely. We're pros. We've done it forever, and it'll be a beautiful, healthy event. Yeah. I mean, you, do you check vaccinations or no? No, we don't. But we tell people that, that, we, that if they're not vaccinated, there is a place where they can sit with social distancing. Okay, understood. And what are you looking forward to most as you preside over this mass cardinal, right? And I ask you this every year because people struggle with faith and they talk about how come the surge and this virus will not go away. What is your Christmas message to those folks right now? You know what? The Christmas message is that itself. When we admit we're fragile, when we admit we're exhausted with all this stuff, when we admit that we're tempted to get discouraged and down with what we, we see going on in the world, what we're really saying, Dan, is I need help. I need saving. I need a rescue. And that's what Christmas is about. Christmas is God's rescue mission to his children, sending his only begotten son to us. So really, all the darkness and all the worry and all the fear and all the anxiety that we admit mm. is really the reason for Christmas. God has heard that and has said, be not afraid, take a deep breath. I'm sending you a savior. You are not alone. We will get through this together and be not afraid. Yeah. And that's Christmas. You know, and I was talking to a lot of parents. You know, my mother was a Catholic school teacher right here in the Archdiocese in New York. And so it'd right. be remiss if I don't ask you right now, what about Catholic schools and that anxiety? Looking forward to next year, a lot of schools locally have started to go remote. Any changes you plan to make? Because you've done so, no, you've done no, so well Dan, so as far. No, no, Dan, as you probably know, because you were, uh, the media was very good in picking it up. We did not close down. Right. We, were, we were fully open last year at the height of it and did it with amazing success, safety, and health. And it, we were kind of the envy of the nation, not just here in New York, but Catholic schools throughout the United States. And we, we uh, intend to continue to do that. Again, all the safety precautions are right. in effect. Uh, we take it very, very seriously. But I think we've learned the hard way that closing down schools is counterproductive right. and really might have an adverse unintended effect upon our kids. And we don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, and I know for you, it's really important for you to have those folks back in those pews because there's nothing like an audience, right? To, to, and, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, to preach to those folks who come to you to hear a very specific message, and they've been in this pandemic for two years. For you, sir, what is it like to be able to do this once again with such a large group at St. Pat's? Dan, you're stealing my cue cards. That's a great, that's a great intro. It's all about being there. Now, here's the thing. God wants us together. He doesn't like to talk to us at a distance. And that first Christmas, he did not send a fax. He did not send a text. He did not send an email. He became one of us, okay? Mm. He wants to be with us, and he wants us to be with one another. And that, of course, is what church is all about. That's what community is all about. That's what Midnight Mass is all about. We come together with family and friends, people who share our convictions, 
to praise God and to comfort one another. And you can't, it's it while being at a distance, yeah. watching it is sure better than nothing. There's nothing like being there. Yeah, absolutely, Cardinal. And I think that's the message that so many are looking for, plus the collection. Oh, thanks for asking that. And uh, uh, about that, we need it. And uh, actually, Dan, there'll be two of them. There'll be two. Right? <laughs> <laughs> two collections. Uh, and do you have a favorite Christmas hymn that you walk down to? I like Silent Night. Oh. And actually, I'll tell you this, Dan. Traditionally here at St. Patrick's, they sing Silent Night in that quiet time right after Holy Communion. Yeah. And that's when it sinks in for me, because we're getting at the end of Midnight Mass. I'm beginning to relax. I'm saying Christmas is right. here. And when the choir breaks into Silent Night, it 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 kind of sinks in. Go. This is Christmas. So that's my favorite. It's beautiful, and there's nothing like Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Cardinal, I don't usually say this about another media outlet, but you're doing an interview later this morning with a radio outlet. And the person you'll be doing the interview with was my Catholic school English teacher in eighth grade. And so you were doing an interview today with my eighth grade English teacher at a Catholic school. And who thought that we'd both be speaking to you on the same day? His name is Mr. Well, Brian. whoever he, he or she was, Dan, he or she did a great job in teaching you English because you speak very well. Well, thank you, sir. And hey, I appreciate our yearly cr Christmas conversation and I'm looking forward to broadcasting the message. Blessed tonight. Christmas, you. Dan, to you and your family. Right back at you. Thank you, Mr. Bye -bye. Joel. Appreciate it. 819, everybody. And again, you can watch that mass, midnight mass, live right here on Pix 11.